Hello stampers, welcome to the craft room. Today I'm going to show you how to make this great little belly band for your large chocolate bars. This would be a great way to decorate your bars for Valentine's Day, so let's get started. We're going to begin with a piece of early espresso cardstock, and this piece is eight and a half inches by three inches. And we're going to bring in our simply scored scoring board. And the first thing I'm going to do to texture this cardstock is to just score it at every quarter inch. And I'm going to use the larger ball stylus and just create a score line every quarter of an inch coming down on my cardstock. Okay, so now that I've created those lines, we're actually going to score our cardstock for folding. And for scoring the cardstock to wrap around the chocolate bar, we're going to first score it two and one eighths inch. So that's right here. And we're also going to score it at two and a half inches. And now we're going to come a little bit further down and score at six and one eighth inch and also at six and a half inches. So those are our four score lines going in this direction. And now we're just going to go ahead and fold along those score lines and I'm going to bring in the chocolate bar here and I'm going to use sticky strip to secure that seam. You could also use your Tombow Mono multi-adhesive. And I'm just going to place my sticky strip on the inside end here. and just pull that up and secure it closed. Now we're ready to begin decorating our belly band. I went ahead and used our Framelitz dies and I used the third large or the third smallest and second smallest and just die cut a piece of pretty in pink cardstock and also a piece of the brushed gold cardstock as my bases. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere the pretty in pink layer down using some Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And before we adhere any other layers of cardstock, we're going to take a piece of our pretty in pink pleated ribbon. And this piece is about eight and a quarter inches long. And we're going to secure it around this belly band using some sticky strip. You don't have to use sticky strip the entire way. I secured some sticky strip right across the middle of my framelit die on the front and then I went ahead and just imagining that this is now going to go around and I'm going to secure just a little piece of sticky strip across the middle here on the back of my belly band and so that our seam is going to be hidden I'm actually going to start with the back of our belly band and we're going to secure this down first to the back and then we're going to come around to the front and secure it and that way these ends are going to get hidden underneath the layers that we create on the front. So adhering that side down and this side down. So now I'm going to set this aside and we're going to do a little bit of stamping. I'm taking a piece of very vanilla cardstock and this particular stamp from the Four Frames stamp set and we're going to stamp that using our early espresso ink. We're going to use our decorative label punch to punch that out. And now we're just going to add a little small embellishment to this label. I'm using this little key stamp from the Elementary Elegance Celebration stamp set. And I'm going to come in here with my chocolate chip ink and I'm actually going to stamp off once to lighten the color of the ink and then go ahead and stamp a little key right there on the label. Next we're going to take a scrap of pretty in pink cardstock and our letters to spell love from the calendar alphabet and number stamp set and some early espresso ink and we're just going to go ahead and stamp these letters a little bit spread out here because we're going to go ahead and cut each of them out into a little rectangle and then we're going to sponge the edges. OK, 
Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut each of those letters out, and now I'm going to use some chocolate chip ink. You can use your early espresso ink just to go ahead and sponge the edges of these tiny letters. Now that our letters are all stamped and sponged, I'm going ahead and I'm attaching dimensionals to the back of them. And I went ahead and just cut one dimensional into four pieces, and I'm just attaching one of those pieces to the back of each letter. A little bit more stamping that we need to do for this card. We're going to be using the Happy Valentine's Day stamp from the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set. And you can do this on either your Whisper White cardstock or I'm going to do it on this very vanilla cardstock. And we're just going to stamp that in early espresso ink. I'm actually going to go ahead and just stamp right along this little edge here since we're going to cut this out and make a little flag. So I'm just going to take my paper snips and snip about that far away from the end and then just come in and go as straight as I can. And you could do this with your paper cutter as well. I'm just freehanding it here. I'm actually going to cut a little bit closer to the bottom here as well to make this a really thin strip of a greeting. And then we're going to go ahead and just cut in from the edge. And I'm going to come in and leave about a quarter of an inch there. And how I like to make my flags or my little banners is just cut in from the middle and then I cut in from the corner to that initial cut and also from this corner to that initial cut to make my little banner end. And then I'm just going to cut a little bit closer to the end of that greeting. And we're going to go ahead and sponge this as well with our chocolate chip ink. The last little embellishments we're going to need for our belly band are some hearts. So we're going to take our heart to heart punch and just punch out of some chocolate chip cardstock. We're also going to want to grab a brad from our antique brads set. And I think we have everything we need to put this all together. So let's bring back in our belly band that we've started. And let's start doing our layering. We're going to adhere our decorative label punch down to our brush gold cardstock just using some Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive. And we can center that pretty well, just like so. The next thing we're going to add are our little hearts. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this heart and put it around the bottom left corner and then add this other little heart up here toward the top. And now we're ready to take our paper piercing tool and our little piercing mat and I'm going to make a little hole here in this corner and we're going to go ahead and put our brad right through there and secure that. And I'm not going to adhere our little Happy Valentine's Day down yet. I just want to kind of put that in there so that I know where it's going to be. And we're going to go ahead and adhere our love letters down. And now that we've got our letters down, we're going to use a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi Glue just to the back of our little flag and just tuck that under that brad and secure that down. And now we're ready to put it all on top of our yummy chocolate bar. And to do this we're going to build up our layers of dimensionals. So I'm going to put not one but two layers of dimensionals and then we'll see if that's high enough. So I just build them right on top of the other like so. And you can test it out to make sure that it's tall enough for you and I'm kind of tempted to go up another layer, but I think that'll be okay. And just remove that and we'll secure that right in the center. And there you have it, an adorable belly band for your chocolate bar, a great gift to give away for Valentine's Day. I hope you've enjoyed this project and I look forward to seeing you again very soon here in the craft room.